Hello and welcome to Audiovisual Analysis with Harrison. We've got an oddball today, but it should be easy to understand if you did the at home work. Your donations are appreciated, but please save them for after. Let's get on then. As the video opens, we are quickly acquainted with our main character and setting. A gray wolf skateboarding down a seemingly endless highway, holding a pumpkin filled with what seems to be Halloween sweets. I would quickly like to appreciate the use of the song Dreams by Fleetwood Mac as the background audio to this adventure, as its soothing rhythms provide good contrast to videos like these with a chaotic twist. As the video goes on, we watch as the wolf begins to devour the contents of the pumpkin, eventually throwing it to the side. As we see his disregard for the item itself, we can begin to put together the leading actions. The disregard with which he treats the item shows us that it is most likely not his. While thievery and conniving nature are more stereotypical of foxes, wolves are also known to burgle from time to time. I once lost my cat to a wolf. And as a point of personal prejudice, I could believe that this wolf stole this Halloween candy from children. This would also explain the wolf's actions of skateboarding down a highway at high speeds, as he would have need to have planned a getaway for such a crime. This is the point where the story takes a turn. As the wolf comes down from the high adrenaline of the escape, he begins to take a look at his surroundings. Seeing nothing around him but an endless highway and even endlesser desert, he begins to worry. Additionally, the use of a sunset in the background lets us as an audience know that this is an end to a story. How is our character going to get anywhere before nightfall? He can't go back. As someone who was also once abandoned in the desert, I can highly relate to this scenario. As our wolf's worry grows to fear, he turns around, seeing behind him a dragon-like amalgamation of various different cars. He turns back to face us, with nothing but terror in his eyes and a scream in his jaws. As the being draws closer, he becomes more and more panicked, screaming for help but unable to do anything to amend his situation. He knows why it is here. I am reminded of the proverb, If a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, did it even make a sound? In a way, this is what the wolf realizes in the end. Taking in his surroundings, it's obvious to see that he's in some sort of purgatory-like state. An empty forest, if you will, no part of which is under his control. In his final moments, he, as well as we, are assured of one thing. There is always something coming for us, for what we've done. We are alone. We will not be remembered. Good night. Hey, I'm Harrison. Uh, not the one responsible for that video. He's like in the corner there. You can beat him up if you really want. But thank you for watching my humor project. It's currently rendering right now, and I have about nine hours left, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, influences. For the main tone, I don't really have any specific influences. I don't know what about humor made me think existential dread. That's the first thing that came to mind. Definitely the video that I uh, sort of pseudo-analyzed itself by, uh, I believe, Brick Stacker. If not, I'll, I'll find the link or somewhere. It's a big inspiration, but I think more of the tone of the over-exaggerated breakdown itself is its own genre. I believe um, maybe an influence would be uh, Yorick Salad Bar, I think, on YouTube, who recently did um, something similar about the show Smiling Friends. I will put up a... In terms of visuals specifically, the entrance is probably influenced uh, by a lot of uh, early Gary's Mod animated videos. A lot of the early motion is inhumanly sort of puppet-like, probably influenced by uh, James Lee, another internet person, probably also where some of the darker aesthetic came from. In terms of humor itself, I cannot really name a specific creator that comes to mind, but not to say I'm that I'm not influenced, but just I cannot think of a specific one. Originally, I didn't really want to do something quite so monotone. I don't consider myself that much of a fan of uh, the monotone delivery. When you've got a night left, you kind of just have to come up with something. Alright, hopefully I'll be able to edit that down.